First thing we do when we're about to start a fire, we take the ash bucket, try not to spill it. Right here. Undo this. Get the shovel. Switching hands here. And when you pick the ash up, put it inside, bring it out slowly, and then slowly dump it in here. If you dump it in too fast, all the ash flies everywhere. Once the inside of the wood burning stove looks like this, you gotta leave a little bit of ash in there. Then you can put the bucket back. And you just put the ash bucket right back here. When it gets to be about this full, you need to take the bucket into the car very carefully and drive it down to the waste management place. All the directions are in the book and they have a trash bin there specifically for ashes. Now in the pantry is where we keep the paper to roll up and we use this for the fire. So you need about that much. So when you load the wood burning stove up with paper, you never, ever, ever open the front door, ever. Start taking these, start scrunching them up. And throwing them in. So you can't really use too much paper. All the paper goes in through the side door. And the wood too. Well, yeah, and the wood too. <laughs> so make sure you have plenty of paper. And then you start adding the small sticks of the kindling. The smallest sticks. The smallest sticks. And this is what the stove will look like right before you start the fire. So right here across from the wood burning stove is where we keep the lever that you're going to use to open the stove when it's, especially when it's hot. You just put it on here to lock it, and to open it, you like this. Close it and that will lock it. And do not, do not mess with the damper that's right there. Just leave that alone. And here are the gloves that we use when you're handling all the wood. Um, please put the gloves on so you don't get splinters. And you need to remember that until the fire gets going, and you have to nurse this fire for about a, you know, a half hour before you can walk away for 20 minutes and kind of leave the door open kind of like that, you know, a little bit. And then in a few minutes, I'm gonna go back in there and put some more sticks in and more sticks in. Okay, so you got the fire burning now, you got the little sticks going. So then you kind of take things, to just kind of keep feeding the fire with little bigger sticks. Bigger sticks. There's gloves right there you should be using when you're handling wood. I just decided to not handle it. I got some more. So our storage for the wood is down these stairs. The kindling and the wood are kept in the storeroom right below the stairs. The light is right here. Here's the kindling and there's the wood. And we use this to bring up the kindling. And in this room right here, here is all the wood. That's the husband. Bonjour. And this is where we keep the kindling, the small pieces and the medium pieces. We're all right here. Here's the wood. We're going to take this and wrap it up and bring it upstairs. But always remember, whenever handling the wood, the kindling or the wood to put in the fire, always wear gloves. So right here is the light switch for the storage room. And when you're done using the storage room, you're going to pull it and you're going to make sure that it is closed because
because, because even though the bears are supposed to be in den and sleeping, you never know when a lone bear is looking for food and you gotta make sure the storage room door is shut. When the, when the fire starts going, you can fill up this box with the medium sized pieces that you'll put into the fire as soon as the fire starts going. So we put the kindling in this bucket. And we fill up the wood holder using this black thing. Wood sling. Wood sling. So it's important to use the wood to use the wood burning stove as much as possible for the upstairs because it's really really expensive to heat this house. But when you get up in the morning, you're going to want to turn on the house heater for a while until you get out of the house. The system for the house heater is right on the wall here, right as you walk in the door, and it's on off, which is in the middle. And to turn it on, all you're going to do is push it over like that. And to turn it off when you leave the house, you just push it back in the middle. Do not touch anything else here, please. Every bedroom has one of these oil heaters, which are great. They really heat up the room nicely. Um, you can plug them into the socket right there. Um, you can turn it up to whatever you want, one, two, or three. Um, when you are not in the bedroom or you're leaving the house, please turn it off and unplug it and make sure it is not near anything. No curtains, you can put it like right in this room, put it right about there, and but never, never, never put clothes on top of the oil heater to dry. Well, and that is how you deal with all the heating in the house. If you have any questions, of course, you can reach us on WhatsApp.